Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I am Denise, Makeup by Denise here on YouTube and on Instagram. Today I wanted to do a review of the new Power Bullet lipsticks. These are by Huda Beauty. They came out in the last few weeks. Um, they actually caught my eye because I really like like the pigmentation of them. They are in traditional lipstick form, but I think that it's like a pressed liquid lipstick the way that they're described they have like high pigmentation um also unexpected comfort they have sweet almond oil they have rose tones and they also go into some neutral shades and they are said to be great for all skin tones so i want to test them out see how comfortable they are because i love liquid lipsticks drying liquid lipsticks don't really bother me i just like the longevity of the wear with them so i always kind of gravitate towards those but if these give me a similar payoff compared to a liquid lipstick but more hydrating i'm definitely here for it so there are eight shades i'm gonna be showing them all to you today just a quick price comparison so i did look them up they are 25 dollars each so they're a little bit more expensive than traditional lipsticks um compared to huda's liquid lipsticks which are 20 dollars for 0.17 ounces this is 0.10 ounces. So you do get less product, but if it's more payoff, it might be worth it to make the investment. Comparing them to the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, which are really similar. Um, I have her stats right here. So this one is 0.11 ounces, so it's just a tad bit more product, and hers are also $20. Um, let me just pull one of these out. I actually haven't even swatched them. I wanted to do it here for the first time. Here is the full collection ranging from lightest to deepest. I really like the lipstick container. I think it's really sleek and cute and I like that you can see the shade on the outside. You can also see that it is more of a matte formula. It doesn't have any type of shine and it also has that pointed end so that you can get that precision on your lip line. So let's try these out. The first shade I'm gonna do is Interview. When you press your lips together, you can feel that like moisture. They definitely are hydrating. And it doesn't have that like sheen to it. So it is, it's a really comfortable formula. I like it. The color payoff is there. This is a really beautiful like neutral tone. So I wanted to press on my lip. You are going to get transfer with this product. I'm pretty sure that the, it doesn't really set much after this. It just went on really comfortably it's matte but not drying and the color payoff is nice but there will be transfer with this product so definitely keep that in mind if you're looking for something that doesn't have any transfer at all these might not be the best option you might like to just stick with like traditional liquid lipsticks so the next one we're going to swatch is joyride this one is also described as a blushing rose This one's more cool than interview. El próximo. The next one that we have is third date. I do really like that precision tip. So here we have third date. This one's slightly more rosy than I prefer, but it's still cute. Next we have Payday, which looks slightly more cool. The pigmentation really is bomb AF with these. This one's cute. This one's especially nice for like the summertime. If you have the Anastasia like traditional matte lipsticks, which I love, these are slightly more creamy than them and they also have more transfer. So I, I wanna compare them to those because I feel like those are pretty popular. If you ever like feel those, the Anastasia ones, it gives you that color payoff, but it gives you more pull but I think that that's what helps the lipstick stay on longer. But this one, it's really comfortable and it still gives you that matte look while hydrating, if that makes sense. The next shade we have here is Graduation Day.
So here is graduation day. This one's one of my faves. I feel like I gravitate towards like mauve tones. I'm not crazy about like pink, pink lipsticks. This range is cute. Um, I found one or two shades that I really like. This is one of them and one of the other two at the beginning. Next we have Pool Party. Now Pool Party is in the true rose tone. So let's see what this one looks like. The color payoff really is stunning. I feel like this one and the last one are pretty similar. This one might be a little more pink. And I'm gonna swatch them all next to each other so you can see the full range as well. Now we're moving in to the last two shades, which are the two deepest of the range. This is Ladies Night. That's that one swipe. Ooh, this color is beautiful. Here we have Ladies Night. It's a really beautiful shade as well. If you find yourself getting lipstick on your teeth, see this and it'll take off the excess so you won't get it on your teeth throughout the night. And lastly, we have Masquerade, which is the deepest shade in the collection. I feel like I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> And these are described as vampy rose. This one's giving me major fall vibes. I'm actually really impressed in the consistency. So here is Masquerade. This one is still really pretty. It's not as matte as the other formulas. Um, the consistency is there, which is one thing I was worried about because when you sometimes step into deeper tones, sometimes the formula is not even. So the color payoff is there, but it does have a sheen to this one. And I feel like with all of the lipsticks, since they are like creamier, you do get a little bit of slip when you're trying to get that precision. So that's something else that you also want to keep in mind. But here is the full collection. I want to give you guys some of my final thoughts. I'm not crazy about super rosy tones. I think that it's a really nice collection. Some of the shades are a little bit really similar, but I think that that was a point you wanted to cool and warm from the entire rosy range so that you do have some options. So I think that it was composed really nicely. There's like two or three that I'm like, yes, I'm definitely going to be wearing those really soon. Um, but for the most part, some of them were a little too pink for me. But I think that the formula is solid. It was consistent. All of the lipstick had a nice payoff. Um, the lighter shades were slightly more matte. When you step into the deeper shades, they seem to have a little bit more sheen. I don't know if they have more almond oil because of the color, because sometimes with these shades, it can be hit or miss when it comes to formula, but this is a really solid color. It went on just like every other one, which I really liked. Um, $25. I think the formula is nice. I think she could have went $20. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's not like super overpriced. Um, I definitely would pay $20 for them. And if you are kind of like over the entire liquid lipstick wave and you want something that still gives you a matte, matte-ish look, but you don't want to go the liquid lipstick route, these would be a great option for you, especially if you are into these tones. I did hope for one or two more like true nudes, like brown nudes. Um, just because that is my vibe. I love a good nude lip, but I think that all of them work universally across a multitude of skin tones, which is really nice. And I think that you can wear them for most of the year. Overall, I think Huda did a really nice job. I'm sure she's probably gonna come out with another family, probably like True Nudes, cause that's how she likes to do her releases. She likes to do all the pinks at one time and then she likes to go into like the neutrals. So right now she's doing like the body shimmer, I believe. So yeah, hopefully she'll come out with some nudes in this same formula because I do really like the formula. Also, one more thing, I did not pair any of these with, with a liner just because I wanted to show you exactly what it looked like right out of the tube, but I would use a liner. It does give you that like precision with a tip. It is nice, but I need a liner. Like I just, it's something that I cannot do. I can't wear lipstick without lip liner. And I feel like that's how I get that super crisp line, which I was not able to achieve with this because they are like slightly more creamy. 
the tip of the lipstick definitely helps to get a more precise like cupid's bow and especially around like the edges but personally for me i think a lip liner would have made it super crisp but i just wanted to show you guys the color as promised here are the swatches we have interview joyride third date payday graduation day pool party ladies night and masquerade Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about this product. Is this something you'll be picking up? Are you into the formula, the price, the tones that she came out with? And if you have any other video requests, just leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.